Welcome back everybody, my name is Oasis, and this is the fourth video of JavaScript Essential Training Series. In this video we are going to learn about JavaScript data types and condition statements. So one of the most fundamental character characteristics of a programming language is the set of data type it supports. There are the type of values that can be represented and manipulated in programming language. JavaScript allow you to work with three primitive data types: numbers, strings, and booleans. I have a file script.js, that's what I'm going to open. First, let me give you an example of numbers, string, and booleans. So, for that we are going to create three variables. I'm going to create a first variable var, and I'm going to make it string. So I will type my name as a string variable. So type my name. This is a variable name. It's not a value. So we use assignment operator is equal to, and then I will press spacebar, and then the string always goes into quotation. So type double quotation, and then whatever the string you want to add, it just can be a one letter, it can be a sentence, it can be a single word. So I'll type my name, always, and then get out from the quotation, press semicolon. So this is a string data type, which is stored in my name a variable. Now we create another variable, var, and I'll name it number is equal to, and I will just type whatever the number I want to type and press semicolon and now this variable has a number data type now with this as you can see we didn't have to add a quotation marks quotation marks represent a string data type so wherever you see quotation that means it's a string the numbers you just have to type numbers and nothing else i will change the value to one now in javascript and many other programming languages they allow you to apply the boolean data type. Boolean means if whether it's true or it's false. So we'll try that now. Let's create another variable. I'll name it boolean is equal to, and you can set this to false, or you can, I'm just gonna create another variable. So I'll just explain to you guys is equal to, so I'm gonna say boolean one is equal to true. Okay, so you just have to type false or true. So that variable value can be true or false. So that is a Boolean data type. Well, JavaScript also defines true travel data type, null and undefined. Well, let me show you one more thing here. We can create an empty variable which does not have any variable. So undefined variable. Okay, so now we know we understand the data types in javascript i think it's time for us to learn the condition statements in java in any other programming language the classic if statements comes to use here so the if statement checks whether the condition is true and if the condition is true it will run that code now how do we write the if statement in javascript first let's create another variable b and we are going to initialize these two variables. I'm going to set them to 10, and I will set the B to 20. Now, I want to check whether A is less than B or greater than B. How do we do that? There is an operator. We have learned this equal, equal to sign operator, right? But I'll show you another operator now. Now, we are going to start with if statements, so if, and now you need to open parentheses. So these two guys are called parentheses. And you type your condition inside it. As you can see, I'm hovering over that and it says expression expected. Now, I'm not gonna write any condition right now, but I'll just get out from the parentheses and then we need to add a code block. So these two braces are called code blocks. So these two guys are code blocks and we represent the code block with the braces with these two guys and then press enter that is the most traditional way to write if statement in any program language i know java c plus plus and uh, always write this uh, if statement like this okay so we'll check few things here 
I'm going to type a variable a. Now we already defined it's a variable, right? We don't have to type var again. We just have to use the variable name and it will automatically detect that what is the data type inside that. So if I hover over my cursor here, the Visual Studio code is pretty great. It's telling you that var a has a numeric data type inside. It has a number inside, right? So what we can do here, I'll say if a less than b, b is the same data type with the number and then press enter so i'll say if a is less than b then i'll tell the compiler to go down inside the code block and run this code so what we can write here we can write let's say i will create another variable and i will store a addition of a and b so let's type result is equal to a plus b Okay, so var is equal to result. Sorry, var is the, the keyword and the result is equal to a plus b. So addition of these two values will be stored in result. And then we can write that onto the web page. Well, if you want to use the alert box or if you want to write that on the web page, there's two different ways. We will write that on the web page. So we will say document.write and then I will open the parentheses and now we need to type the string. I will say the result of A and B is and then we get out from the quotation and then I will type comma and then I will type result as a variable name get out from the parentheses add a semicolon. I will save the file now I have already opened HTML dot uh, index dot HTML, which uh, has this strip, uh, script tag where we're linking our JavaScript into this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to open that page and I'll refresh that. So I'm gonna refresh it and there you go. So it's telling me that the result of A and B is three. Now with the if statement, we have an else as well. So let's say if we want to tell that if this is not true, then what it should do. Now we can use the else clause. So type else. And then now we are going to use the code block again. And then we'll say document dot write. And then we add the data is not valid of whatever message you want to pass. Now, if I change A to 30 and save the JS file, we go back and refresh it. And what do you think what it's going to print out? As you can see, it says data is not valid. Now, our JavaScript if condition is actually checking whether A is less than B or A is greater than B. So if A is less than B, then we'll jump into this code and then write this statement. And if A is not less than B, then it will go to the else clause and it will write this for us. So this is how you can write if statement in JavaScript. There's a lot more to it. I will be covering a lot of things in the couple of videos. So like stay tuned for this guys if you're wondering to if you're willing to learn JavaScript. Thanks for watching and please join our Facebook group. I'll drop a link in the description. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe this channel. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.